Hello Frugal Forest, once again this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty and if you've been watching my videos you know recently I did a video where I beat Clock Tower 1 for the PlayStation 1 and now in this video I'm going to beat Clock Tower 2 it says the struggle within for PlayStation 1. Now if you did notice and you were paying attention to my Clock Tower 1 video you'll notice I used the picture of this on there which was wrong and I did that on purpose to see who was paying attention. It was a part of a prize and the person that called it out won a Frugal Force prize. They know prize if you will in other words an inexpensive one. Alright, so I'm going to pop this in to my PlayStation 2, because yes, you can play some PlayStation 2, uh, I mean PlayStation 1 games on PlayStation 2. I do have the PlayStation 1 as well, but I have my PlayStation 2 here hooked up right now, so we're going to go with that. So I'm going to plug that in right now into the trusty PlayStation 2, and let's see this ending together, shall we? All right, here I am. I'm at the very end of the game. I'm going to load and return to my game, I mean here, and here we go. I'm going to go through this door. I've been through this similar before, so I know what to expect here in general. This is at the point, if I lose here, I'm pretty bad. Because <laughs> there isn't much to it, but story. Now, I love this. Look, this is, once again, this is uh, PlayStation 1 graphics. It gives it a nice eeriness with a nice music. And that's one of the things I really like about this game. And I'll talk about that in a minute. All right, I'm going to have her open the door here. All righty. Dun dun dun. Move around here. I envied you. Your brilliance. brilliance. Your wealthy Your family. Wealthy family. Envy for a wealthy family. If Everyone must die. Must so die. greed, guilt. If you're crazy. Talking to you won't do any good. Sorry, how rude of me to forget. Since I was you the met one the person, but you made him crazy. crazy. Go figure. <gasps> Father! Father? Alyssa, you are what? You are not my daughter. Not the daughter? You're not the father. You're the daughter of George Maxwell. So the father is the killer there. I was and jealous. He was jealous. Of so to make him fall, I dug you up from the Maxwell's to grave. To get even, he dug her up from what the grave. What are you talking her about? In the first place, father, I, I don't understand. And how is she alive? You were the cursed child of the Maxwell family. The daughter with the cruel alter ego. The cursed daughter born into the Maxwell family every few But how generations. was she alive if she was buried? <laughs> okay. It is what it is, I suppose. Uh oh. Hit that button, hit the button, hit the button. Die. Hit the button, hit the button, hit the button. Hit the button. <laughs> that. Shoots that dude. I loved you as if you were my own daughter. Tear up on that one. <laughs> I never thought of you as a tool you call to her harm a tool. anyone. So I... So I infected the statue with bacteria. He said, get even. To make he infected the crazy. statue to make him go crazy and dug up a cursed daughter? Father! What? <laughs> Goodbye, Alyssa. Hurry and leave. Then why don't you get to up too up. if it's gonna blow up? You just gonna stand there and die? <laughs> and he passes out. Wait, but no, father. remember she's called father. He's not the father. Everyone Whoa! Hit the button. Hit the button. Must die. You're not my father. Lie down. There we go. Shoot him again. Man, he passed out pretty quick and then got right back up. But little, he said, "I'm not your father." And then she calls her father. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and now it's going to be checking the memory card. How many of you remember uh, PlayStation 1, 2, those days, Nintendo 64 and things? You had to use a memory card for your games. And on top of this, if you're playing it in PlayStation 2, you still had to use a PlayStation 1 memory card. Oh, here we go. Let's go to the cinematic. Now, you remember, you'll, if you played this game at all, or if you ever see it, they're going to show glimpses of this at the very beginning of the game, but you don't know what it means. This is tying it together. Okay, we're digging. Now, remember at the end there, it said he's digging up the daughter. Look at this! I'll get him with this. Do you know what you're doing? 
digging up the Maxwell grave? Think the curse he, he's, is real? he's complaining. You it's, think it's, it's absurd that the absurdity. curse is real, but you just curse dug up is just a baby that is alive, that was buried alive. But you're worried that the curse isn't real? <laughs> you gotta love some of these games and the game logic and stories behind them. Uh, once again, I want to point out this is a uh, PlayStation One, and this is PlayStation One graphics, which is pretty dang good. It's hard, isn't it? You can hear the Everyone's dead, her multiple, and it's all my multiple personality disorder there copping out. Maybe so. It would have been better if I. Oh, had died. Now, I've already beaten this game a couple times and got a couple endings. It has multiple endings. It's not that we'll see. You've How good this ending, already. you know, is ranking wise. Well, I guess I've got to get rid of those zombies. Yeah, I would hope so because there was a bunch of zombies it's in that not gonna be in that easy. building there. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna roll the credits. So, Clock Tower Two. We'll see what the ending I get this time is compared to the endings I had previously. It's going to go through the credits. Once again, this is the ending of Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within. Now, I want to read you what it says on the back for the advertising materials here. It said, prepare for a journey into the darkness. The darkest, I'm sorry. Prepare for a journey into the darkest recess of human experience. Clock Tower 2, The Struggle Within, features all the suspense and terror that kept you on the edge of your seat in the original. But this time with a twist, Alyssa Hale must learn to control her split personalities as she attempts to solve this horrifying mystery. Now, okay, interesting. Now it says, having been buried alive, she has arisen and is out for revenge. Now wait a minute. She didn't know that she was buried alive. She thought that the other guy was her dad. So she had no clue she was buried alive until the very end of the game. So that part was pretty darn misleading. That, that's, that's, that's not true. All right. It says, armed only with her multiple personalities, she is thirsty for blood. She had a multiple personality in this game. If she had her amulet, she keeps her other personality, the dark one, in check. When uh, she gets rid of that amulet, the dark one comes out, which makes an interesting gameplay mechanic. Because if you can get a gun, if you find a gun and things like that, you can use it if you're using her other personality. But if she's in her traditional normal Alyssa Hale personality, she can't. She runs, she can still use items to hit. The, the characters with to get away and things, but she doesn't have that darker side. Also, an interesting component about that is that depending on which personality she's under at that time, you'll get different at, uh, different actions from the game, the, the scenarios that are going around, as well as the characters. There'll be different exchanges as well. All right, so that, that's an interesting dynamic which kept it fun. Uh, one thing I will say though is this game didn't have Scissor Man like the first one. I, I wasn't 100% sure on that, and it doesn't. And it, it gives a little bit more information here too on that to, to get along with that. So it also says in the back switch between the two personalities, which we talked about. 13 different possible endings. Okay, and this is another one of the endings here. I've already beaten it twice. So we'll see how I did. Feel the terror with vibration function compatibility, because back then vibration compatibility wasn't as common. And if you really like vibration, you can always put it in your pants. <laughs> now on top of that, I will say it did add to the game. Between the great eerie music and the things, I think it did a great job with the music capturing it. It used vibration sparingly, so it added to the elements of the game to make you have that eerie feeling. For it, so it didn't just abuse it like crazy, like some games do now today. So it did help actually build that that eeriness. It also says um, battle crazed enemies, including a psycho knife wielding child, and that was in the first stage, the first level, if you will. Zombies, that's later on, and Ghost Head himself. So instead of having the Scissor Man like in the first one, we have Ghost Head, which is the guy you saw in this video getting shot. This game is a one player game, it uses one memory card block. It has an analog control compatible, which is, you know, you can use the analogs, because back then it was somewhat new at that point. Vibration function, it says, and mouse compatible. I will say I've never played this with the mouse. I don't have the compatible mouse with this system. I've tried several mouse um, to plug into the PlayStation 2 as well to see if it would work with that. I just couldn't get it to work. I heard some do. I didn't have that availability. All right. Well, overall, uh, I found this game to be fun. 
I, I, I enjoyed it. If you're not one of those snobs that have to have the utmost best graphics in the world because this is a retro game, time has passed it by, I think the graphics were serviceable. They were, they were pretty good. I love the music in it. I think it had great ambience, great eeriness. It had a good amount of suspense. It is a point and click game, so bear that in mind. If you don't like the point and click things, you probably won't like it. But if you do, this adventure really might be for you. This game is not that hard to get and it's not that terribly expensive if you look around carefully. Fun point click, never knowing what that next click is going to do. Is it going to trigger, you know, uh, somebody, to, a zombie or something to pop out, or will ghost head start coming after you and you have to run and hide? If you tend to get lost in games easily, you could get lost in this one. You might want to use some paper and sketch out some stuff to see so you don't get lost. Like, where was that fire extinguisher so I can come back here and hit a zombie? Or where's that broom in, in the bathroom? As you hear here, music I, I dig on it it's good you know just like the first game the music was really good I think the graphics were good enough and like last time when I seen the, the this part here next thing it told me my rank so let's see what what uh, ending rank I got this time because the last few times I had different oh I got the best one that's the best ending guys that's the a rank ending so good I've had several others that's the first time I got the a rank one all right guys well I hope you enjoyed this video and winning this game you know seeing me get through this game and getting the a rank ending if you enjoyed this video please be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notifications bell because uh, I will say that helps me move up in the people noticing it and getting getting noticed in people's YouTube feeds and, and mine tends to get hit a lot because I refuse to monetize because I don't like how they trade. A, uh, YouTube creates a lot of content creators. So help me out that way if you can. But if you want to help me financially, I do like what VidMe is doing for its content creators. So subscribe there if you want for as little as a dollar a month. It'll really help me out. Or you can get just a one-time tip. And if you want to follow some other articles and things uh, that we do, you can check this out as well as other things at thehenchmenslounge.com. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this with me. Until next time, keep it frugal.